You are here because the outside world rejects you. Alright everyone, so I picked up a new gecko. Well, I mean, if you're new to the channel, this is the first time you've seen this gecko. But if you've been subscribed for a while, this was that baby African fat tail that I had previous um, that I rehomed. I got word that uh, that, that person was looking to uh, downsize on their geckos. So I was able to get the gecko back. And, uh, you know, she's been well taken care of. She's grown quite a bit. Um, her personality is still spunky as ever. Um, but that's just kind of the way she has been. Um, but a very, very nice, beautiful looking animal. I'm happy to have her back with me. And uh, so I'm going to just quickly show you. Uh, this is the, the quarantine setup. It's pretty simple. We got one, uh, uh, just a regular hide. I have a humid hide over here. And what I have done, let me move that out of the way. So I used this moss. And underneath the hide, we just got some that's moistened. I set it on a lid so that way it doesn't get the paper towel wet. And uh, the lid has a bit of a lip to it. So not that you want standing moisture, but it definitely will will help keep things humid underneath this hide and this is the right size for this size gecko of course i've got some mealworms here also do dubia roaches and crickets um got a water dish doesn't have anything in it just yet um but i just wanted to show this it's pretty simple setup um, i could have i've got these toilet paper rolls i could add these as well um, but I don't think I will for this case, but I would like to maybe get like a fake plant just to kind of add some more cover so that way when it's when the gecko is not in a hide, you know, it will still feel secure. Um, reason I am putting water in these yet because I wanted to show what I had done. So this is a half ounce cup often used for uh, crested geckos. But what I did was is I 3D printed this little like half log, if you will, um, as a holder. And then I just simply place one of those in there. Uh, I should redesign this that way it's up a little bit higher. But I mean, it works for what I need it for right now and tweak the design later. But what happens is if this gets too dirty, you simply just throw this through the cycling bin and put a new cup in there and boom you're good to go everything's good clean and sterile and that's what you want with a uh, quarantine type setup you want as sterile as you can keep it um, so that way it's easy to clean everything in here is easy to clean uh, and easy to disinfect and and just keep it pristine while the gecko is in quarantine not that i think that the gecko has anything it's just a good practice um, to uh, you know, get in the habit of doing. That's why I didn't put water in the shed. I just kind of got that ready. But uh, let's go back here and, and take a look at the gecko. Um, I really, really love how this animal has turned out. Like that white stripe on the back is just phenomenal. Um, so, Yeah, let me uh, let me try to put this camera on a tripod and let's see. This gecko isn't too fond of handling, but maybe we can maybe we can get some little candid moments. Ugh. 
He bit me. Or she bit tried to bite me. Let's see if we can't. Many ways these guys are a lot like leopard geckos. Uh, the only real difference in their care is these guys do prefer a little bit more humidity than what leopard geckos do. Um, typically speaking, uh, these guys are, aren't near as uh, rambunctious, if you will, or they seem to be a little bit more mellow uh, than leopard geckos, but then again, you know, that's depending on your gecko, you know, what you, gecko you have, you know, maybe, maybe it isn't always true, but I think as a general rule, these things are typically a little bit more docile than leopard geckos. Put her back in there. If I put her in there in the other one, she's gonna hide right away. And I and I want to drop in a few crickets and see if we can't watch her eat some crickets. More carrots. Don't tear it. More carrots. Where's Garrett?
Shut up and sit down.